This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. I take a ton of photos with my iPhone. It might be a sad low-res little camera, but it's with me 24-7, 365, unless I'm surfing or in the shower. And while sending pictures onesie twosie off the iPhone over SMS or email is easy, getting all the photos off the camera is a major pain in the ass. Call me lazy, but the machine I sync my iPhone with is in the lab of Hope and Coffee, downstairs in the garage, around the back, through the second door. Why can't I just use the Wi-Fi to dump the pictures of my iPhone onto that PC? Enter Photo Transfer, $2.99 at the App Store. It promises to easily download multiple photos from your iPhone to any computer on the same network and transfer photos from your computer to your iPhone. Does it work? We'll find out right after the break. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode of App Judgment. Blogging is so easy when you use Squarespace, and now you can manage your entire Squarespace site on the go with the new Squarespace iPhone application. You can post and edit blog entries, upload pictures on the fly, manage content, save drafts, preview your updates, and even better, access your site's statistics. Snap photos on your phone and quickly post them to your blog, or easily draft blog posts directly from your post tab. All of your current tags and categories will be there as well. So try Squarespace today with a free 14-day trial, no credit card or deposit needed. Should you decide to move forward with your new fancy blog, use the code ABJUDGMENT to get 10% off your order. Do that and you will help us give you more app reviews. Photo transfer is a little funky. It doesn't actually transfer all of your pictures from inside the application. First, you open up the Photos app on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You touch the icon in the lower left corner, then select the photos you want to transfer up to 50 at a time. And touch the Copy button. Now close the Photo app and open up the Photo Transfer app. That's the one you paid $2.99 for. This is where things get a little strange. You select Send, and an IP address comes up in the middle of the Photo Transfer page. What do you do next? You go to the machine you want to transfer to, you open up a web browser, and then you enter the IP address that was displayed on the PC Transfer app. And when that page is open, you can either download all the photos as a zip file or download a onesie twosie. So you have to be at the machine you want to send the photos to to download the photos. Not quite what I was expecting. And by the way, it takes a while for your iPhone to zip up all those images for transfer, or as Photo Transfer says, please wait, this make take some time. Make take? Since I'm at that machine, I'm not sure why I wouldn't just plug a USB cable into my phone and copy the files onto the machine in Windows or use the image capture app in OS X. It'd be a lot faster. But it does let you wirelessly transfer your iPhone photos. It might be just the thing if you want to send a bunch of pictures home while you're on the road, or if you don't have an iPhone cable around and you do have a computer, or you aren't allowed to plug anything in the USB port on your desktop machine, or if you're sitting with a friend in a cafe, you could transfer them to their notebook or their iPad as long as you have internet access. Let's go over the pros. You can wirelessly transfer photos from your iPhone or iPod Touch. You can transfer photos up to your iPhone or iPod Touch from a remote machine. Let's talk about the cons. It doesn't download automatically. It needs somebody at both ends of the transfer. It requires a web browser with internet access to receive photos, and you can transfer a maximum of 50 photos at a time, and it's a lot slower than a cable. Download or don't download? This is not solving my I'm too lazy to tromp down to the garage to download the photos off my iPhone problem, but if I'm out with a little dude and want to transfer a dozen photos to the wife, it could be super useful. I'll give it a tentative download. I'm Patrick Norton. Let me know what you think of photo transfer. You can email me appjudgment at revision3.com or ping me on Twitter at Patrick Norton. Do me a favor. Do not forget to subscribe to get all of the App Judgment episodes. You can do that at our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. Thanks for watching.